Hello guys, today I have a suggestion to test your Laravel blade skills and I have a repository for you. Similar to what I've done a week ago or so, I had a video and a repository to test the routing skills with 12 tasks which would be tested automatically with GitHub Actions and PHP unit tests. So today I have 8 tasks for you that would test your Laravel blade skills. So for example, task 1 is how to pass the data to the views and the repository looks like this. So there are some routes and for example in the home controller there's this function. There's a variable but it's not passed to the view. How to pass that? That's your task to accomplish. Or for example, malicious dangerous script alert passed to the view and alert blade looks like this and if you load that there is a menu item security alert it shows the alert message which you need to remove because this is a security issue. So tasks like this one and they are all listed in the repository itself eight tasks in total and for each of the task there is an automated test. So for example everything is in the file tests feature views test and for example test user list has values it just tests that the response is okay. By default, it's not okay because the variable doesn't exist. So on the page, if we load users, it will show variable is undefined. And if you launch the automated tests automatically, PHP artisan test, they will all fail. So eight failed tests. And your goal is to make them green, make them pass, make them work. And that's kind of the point from my point of view to automate the review of your pull requests. And I've done it already in that previous video about routing. So I received 120 pull requests. Wow. And they were all checked automatically. So see this badge. It means that the tests have passed and the task was completed successfully. But for some cases, you have X here, for example test the changes, an automated test failed, and you can go to details, see the error, for example. So this is the error, some kind of array of string conversion. I'm not sure what that is. So then the developer needs to make more changes, push more to their branch, and then the tests would rerun again and maybe succeed the second time or the third time. So your goal is to receive this kind of badge, so to speak, on your pull request. And this second test is kind of continuation of my longer mission, which I have on my Laravel learning path roadmap. So starting from the beginner level, I've listed the topics that any Laravel developer needs to know. And the first was routing. And next in the list is the blade basics. The only thing I didn't include in this test was blade components, because I think they deserve their own separate test with all their features. And then topic by topic, I'm going to cover at least that's the plan cover the main topics of Laravel with tests and then you would be able to kind of receive the virtual badges as kind of self-certificated Laravel developer. After the first test, I had a discussion with a few of you about certification, whether there should be official badges or something. And I concluded that it's not really worth the effort because majority of you have the correct motivation to test yourselves, to find out something new, to learn something from other pull requests and not necessarily receive some kind of official badge or official certificate. Maybe in the future I will change my opinion if I have enough tests or enough requests or demand from you about some official certification, but it just takes too much work and time to make it like official, avoid fraud and then some paperwork and stuff like that. So I better focus my time on preparing the content for you so more tests are coming in the future and for now, good luck with your blade test. And see you guys in other videos.